Hey, hey folks, we're back in the kitchen and today I'm cooking up a casserole dish that is to die for. Cheesy broccoli chicken tater tot casserole. Let's get over to the stove and let's get started. All right, we're at the stove. First thing you wanna do, get your oven preheated to 375 degrees. And then we wanna come in to a decent sized pot over medium heat and get two cans of 10 and a half ounce uh, cream of chicken soup, two cans of 10 and a half ounce cheddar cheese soup, and one and a half cups of milk. Once I get all this in here, I'm gonna get it warmed up, blended well to where it's smooth, and then we're gonna come back and add our broccoli. After about five minutes of whisking all this together, you should be good and blended and ready to add your broccoli. So we're gonna go right in. I've got four medium to small heads of broccoli. Cut them up pretty uh, small, just because you don't, you don't want big chunks in this dish. We're gonna mix this with our cheese mixture cook for another five minutes or so you really just want to help get this broccoli a little tender so we'll get this mixed well cook for five or six minutes and be ready to add the rest of our ingredients okay the broccoli has been cooking about five minutes you know kind of manage it stir it because it's going to bubble up on you a little bit I'm taking one whole rotisserie chicken that I've shredded and we're going right in the pot get that mixed and then I'm gonna add our seasoning. I've got all in one container here, about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder as well. And then this is optional, but I'm gonna give it a little dash of hot sauce. And this is a, uh, Professional MMA fighter, Dustin Poirier's hot sauce. It is outstanding. I gotta thank my buddy, Hunter Seal. He hooked me up with this bottle, so thanks, Hunter. Just give it a couple, couple squirts. Don't wanna go overboard. There we go. Get this all mixed up. Final steps. Once you got your mixture ready, I'm going to pour into a 9 by 13 greased casserole dish. I want to get all that out. There we go. That cheese is sticky. All right, get all that out. Make sure it's smooth and even. Put some broccoli over there. Got a tap. And then we're going in top with our tater tots. Just frozen tater tots and just put them evenly throughout. Once you have your tater tots covering the top, I like to take just a little Cajun season and just dust the top, not a lot, just to give a little extra flavor at the end. And then we're gonna top with some shredded cheese. I have Colby Jack cheese here. Whatever you have in your fridge will work just fine. We're going into the oven. Again, it's already at 375. I'm gonna bake this uncovered for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna pull it out, cover it full, and cook for an additional 15 minutes. Let's get this thing in the oven. I'm ready to eat. The 
casserole is finished and I cannot wait to take a bite of this. What a perfect bite. A little bit of chicken, broccoli, that tater tot. I don't know if you can see the steam on it. Probably gonna burn my mouth. Oh well. Mm. This, tons of flavor. I'm telling you, creaminess, cheesy. You get a little bit of the crunch from that tater tot. The broccoli has cooked down, it's extremely soft. This is a meal to make. Put it in your repertoire. You're gonna make this over and over again. Mixing that broccoli in with all that cheesy goodness, good way to get the kids to eat their vegetables. Can't go wrong there. Thanks for checking out today's recipe. Comment down below if you try this or if you change it up, let me know, I'd love to hear what you did. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you don't miss Big T's next recipe. I'm going back in for this cheesy goodness. Cheers.